Okay, call the meeting to order the uh, Board of Assessors. We're the Board of Assessors meeting on March 20th, 2024. All right. We have uh, minutes to last meetings. No. Uh, not really. Anything? No. no. Okay. Uh, Fine. Just current sales and values. We had some sales. And well, we do have some sales. I can just run by them uh, yeah. because, as usual, they're interesting. Um, okay, there was a not a swap, but um, Nicole Petraskowitz down on Long Plain Road sold her house, which we currently have assessed at three hundred and forty thousand eight. No, 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 wrong way around. She sold her house uh, for six hundred and five thousand dollars. Six hundred and five thousand. We have an assessed at three sixty seven eight. She then bought the new house that used to be the cabin that uh, Kyle oh, yes, on Hayden Hill, Hill, Hill Road. Yes, I saw that. And she paid. Uh, Five hundred and twenty-nine thousand for that. We have it now. This is from the plans only. But yeah. From the plans yeah. only. I have it at three forty, eight hundred. Yeah. So again, the sales are just way way higher. Right. And then the um the estate of uh, Lawrence Gregoire, uh, sold. That is at one thirty-five Long Plain, and it sold for three hundred and ten thousand to a Kyle Keith. Down in Hadley, and we have it assessed at 218. So I know the house at the corner of Long Plain and Gray Oak. It's an open house now. I think, believe they're asking $588,000. Are you talking about uh, the, the, the Mary one? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one right yeah. on the corner. Yeah. And I think we have that assessed. Oh, in the 300s. Oh, well, you can tell because here we have the handy dandy updated. We can give one to Fred, although he may have already printed it out. Handy dandy. Handy dandy. What I did not do on this was to go through and check all that in, inside material, all those columns. I didn't make sure that we hadn't changed. Okay. And I do believe that there were a couple of branches that became contemporary or vice versa. So you can only, what I really did was to fill in the new uh, values. Yeah, the, the yeah. house okay. value. And okay, standard. because we did that. Okay. And I will, if I have time next week, I will uh, attempt to, to uh, okay, do a little so bit more. It's but. not bad, we have it at 432. It's on the market for 588. Uh-huh, yes, okay. So. Okay, so that's that. Where's the where's the one on Long Plain? One thirty five Long Plain. What about that? That's not part of Pine Plain. Yeah, no. this is it's only not, Pine no. Plain. Oh, okay, no, I know, I know. But whereabouts is this near Pine Plains? Uh, no, it's one thirty five. One thirty five is near um uh the farm, Jim. Oh, uh, okay, Gary Jim's oh. farm. Oh, um, harvest, harvest, harvest farms. Farm? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's a, a blue two story colonial sort of thing. Well, not a colonial. But on the west side of the road? Yeah. On the west. Yeah. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so those are the current sales. Uh -huh. um, I don't know who's running the meeting. You can okay. Hear Fred. Okay, well, I'm going to. Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, Next time, I discuss inspections for spring and summer. Have you done anything? I haven't done too much other than what you're going to be looking at next week, plus you're almost certainly going to have yeah. to go look at 52 Weber Road. Right. And there'll be more about that later. Thank goodness nobody is asking to come in. Um, okay. So now you're down to the proposals for replacing. Yeah, replacing. Uh, if you possibly could. Yeah. Assistant yeah. assessor simply John here. Do we get just say we got two responses and and I'm gonna hand you since we don't see the ball on on the books. Um did I already give you yes the I already resume. gave you uh and then there was Mike's letter 
I think that which yeah. we probably got in the mail. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that in the mail. So I guess we're going to set up. I do have all. Oh, oh, here is all those uh, two references that she sent me this morning. And uh, I guess it's up to what the interview. Yeah. Yeah. Enough. Uh, the scary thing is that neither one has any experience with running the office. Well, that might be hard to find when you think about it. Well, it is. Yeah. And I can update you on the fact that I did talk with Lee Lee Whitcomb from Conway. They had they hope they had somebody who was in Ashfield and then Ashfield up yes. there and he yeah, gave them more money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and more hours. online hours. Yeah. So that was nice. Yeah. So um and they got no other responses and they yeah. began advertising and they advertised over four counties. They began advertising back in January. So there is nobody out there that is so actually. You said the two people who applied are or are not experienced. Not experienced nah. with this kind of thing. That is, a, that is assessors, I guess. It's no experience in that. Uh -huh. yeah. Physical experience, though? Well, no. one may, we're not sure. We didn't get a complete uh, resume from one individual. Uh, he may, depending on uh, his involvement at the local level. It's not local, it is local, but he moved here from other states. Yeah. Uh, so we're waiting to see that. Uh, Have you applied see? for a job without submitting a full resume? I thought it was interesting. And I asked, I, I yeah. emailed him, him yesterday and asked him to please get it to us, but he just wrote back to say he would be providing it. So, yeah. But the thing is, we're the, all, going outside is still on the table, correct? You know, hiring. Well, yeah. yeah, that, yeah that that's the RIP. The and, that's, yeah. That's the next part of this whole discussion. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we've had a meeting with a consultant last week, us in Conway. Uh, we're both interested in the same, uh, using possibly using the same consultant. And I think from here, I was on. I think Lynn was on. Conway had quite a few people on from their board and their assessor. And See, that's someone totally prepared to do it. Do you know why? See that I'm saying if, if there's there's not going to be a lot of training involved in this and that, they're not. Yeah, you know, they're coming in the diet. They did the person that they were recommending has. I think will require some training. Yeah. Oh, you know, it's not like he's right out of school. Yeah. yeah, and I think he's worked in the municipal setting, but yeah. not necessarily as an assessor or in the assessing office. Okay, he worked as a person who, um, it, and he worked in Amherst. In Amherst has a central location where people all go. Okay. So whatever your problem is, you address with this central location. Okay. Okay. So he's had experience in helping most dealing likely with the public, certainly. Dealing yeah. with the public and most likely helping them fill out abatement forms and yeah. things like yeah. that. Um, but they do have the staff to train him. Yeah. It won't be our responsibility to try to train. Oh, him. Okay. Okay. So their staff would train him and get him up and running. Okay. Um I did they sent a list of different towns that have used used yes. them. Yeah. And I did contact Orange. Um and my person said that the first person that they sent from the company they didn't like and they okay. were all ready to cancel the agreement and okay. everything because it was not a good situation yeah but since then they've hired a new they got a new person and i guess that person that they had was fired from the company as well so okay. it wasn't just um uh -huh. orange that was upset with it yeah. with her um so they've got a new person and she uh said that it seems to be working well now yeah, yeah. Okay. um i didn't contact any of the other towns on the list. Leverett, uh, Leverett puts right on their website that their not only their evaluations, but also staffing is done with our, okay. am I supposed to not say the name of the company? Um, no, I, yeah, I just said it. RRG. Yeah, well, I, well, I took the wrong thing. Did, so. did they send you a copy of their proposal? Uh, yeah, yeah, so I have it. Yeah. And so we know the cost of it, going with that? It would be $40,000 for a year. Okay. 
And I would it would be more for the following year when it's a, a rebuild. They said it, that's a three year commitment. Oh, oh. okay. So, oh, um, and that includes the reval, every, they basically do everything from soup to nuts. And I, and I think Fred was concerned because you guys do your own inspections. They even do the inspections. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, um, I think they're flexible on how to work that out, whether yeah, yeah. you want to do your own inspections and supply the information to the assistant assessor who would input it yeah, all yeah, into the yeah. system. They're familiar with all the different, with Patriot and how it connects with VADAR, yeah, our yeah. Um, charger collector system. Um, David Burgess uh, is the, one of their contact people. And he would be the lead for this this guy that yeah. they would uh, assign to us. Um, David Burgess has been an assessor in Amherst for oh okay, decades. and he's rec he recently retired, and this is what he's doing on the side. So yeah, um, yeah, I think there's advantages. Uh, they said that they would be in office for one day or two half days. Okay. And then the other day they could be reached, they would be out doing inspections or whatever else. And they so be they reachable would be by day inspections. They would do that yeah, evening. Right? They well, I think that would be something we'd have you'd have I to think, negotiate I think with I them. I didn't get the impression they were going to do any inspections. So it'd be up to us. Oh um, well they can. Okay. I mean they well, can do inspections. But for that forty thousand soup to nuts would include inspections. Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I don't, I didn't get that. Didn't, that's I the proposal that I, that I read that seemed like it left out. There was 45 days, it said they would have a, right. a person here, 45 days a year, person in the office, and another 45 days for off-site assistance. Right. Whatever, that's it, that's emails, phone calls, and, and whatever. Uh, but I specifically thing. asked, we do evening inspections, if they would come out in the evening, I didn't really get a clear. No, I, I don't think yeah. that was the case. I don't think that no. they would come out for you. I don't. I and even to do inspections, even during the day, I mean, it's it almost sounded like, well, we would do them here and just give them the data and they would they would input it into the system. Yeah. The data. So I uh, think inspections would, would drop off. It wouldn't yeah. have the kind of, you know, six, six mm -hmm. per Tuesday yeah. night that we've done for years. Yeah. I mean, they did say that. You're still welcome to do the inspections on your own and supply the data, and then they didn't put the data. Um, so they would do all the all the commitment information, all the abatements, all the exemptions, all you know. It's of course you know that the the job but is in just is inspections. What is this? Uh, Fourteen conduct inspections on all building improvements under building permit, as well as conduct approximately 360 periodic inspections of all other properties. Right. What is that referring to? That's what you guys are doing now, pretty much. Yeah. It's so part of the cyclical. Yeah. That part of it right there. Yeah. Well, but the, the clear so thing they is, do is inspections. It depends how you define an inspection. They could mean we drive by or, or look at building permits. That's inspection. But we go inside. It doesn't say going inside because I made that as point. well as approximately 360. So they're going to do inspections, uh, building uh, permit slash as well as conduct 360 periodic inspections of all of the property. I, I don't okay, see them so we that. don't know if it's a drive by or not. Yeah, I, I don't see how they could do that. We don't That's do that. a question we can I ask don't them. We've got to do see that many ourselves, and for them to do that, it's got to be just a drive by. Uh, and if it, they didn't do any inspections at all, it wouldn't be soup to nuts. So right. would that number be less than 400? I don't know. It depends Four, on the Yeah. 40. Depends. I don't but, think so. My guess is 40 is. I think 40 is 40. Yeah. Um, the, I did count, look through um, Cynthia's budget, Yeah. you know, that she submitted and took out the things that you, probably wouldn't need like your salary and um I did take out Mayflower and because that's something that they would do as well. Um so 
if we include the 40,000 and the remaining items in the budget, it came out to like 50, oh, I should have brought it. I think it was 56,000. Yeah. As opposed to what I, I think it was 48. That's, I was going to say 48. Yeah. 48. And if you took out May, Mayflower, you had uh, 6,500 and. And then the other one, there's another one there too. 3,000, so it's 9,500 out of 48. So you're down to 40,000 yet without, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So there isn't a whole lot difference other than, uh, I guess, is the kind of service. Well, I. I wonder now. I've heard that Amy and Amy would like need an assistant now that you're not going to be. Well, I'm, yeah, they're going to, they are, and well, Amy Schrader needs an assistant treasure collector because I'll be giving that up in June. Right. So I just wondered if we couldn't get a, a person in who would work a day, maybe a day and a half in the assessor's office and then work in the front office as well. That was something else we had discussed. We could try and advertise for someone like that. I mean, that. it's a confusing. I mean, I did that up in Colin. I had two positions. Yeah. You know, worked part day. Yeah, but we're not able to find yours. How are we going to find someone? Well, it may be more attractive more. to have it would have more hours. Yeah. Um, okay. If it would likely have benefits. Yeah. It would definitely um, come to over. Yeah. I would think over 20 hours. Yeah. If, yeah. If you so it binds six, it uh, it's 10 hours a week for the assistant treasure collector as it's set up now. So that's be 10 plus your assistant. But you could do it or just maybe 10. Maybe you only need 10 more hours. Right. And so that would be 20. But whatever. So yeah. you say it's a, a benefited position, then maybe someone might. Be yeah. Right. It might be easier to find somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not guaranteeing that because Conway's been looking and that's a yeah. benefited yeah. position. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, because they haven't. Yeah. And we don't know if the two people that are looking at that would be, interest. would be interested in more hours. Right. I have a feeling the, the, that one of them would not. I think that person's only looking at lesser hours. I don't know. I said, it's hard because I can't say anything. <laughs> I don't know if he would like say that that did it right there. He so right now it's 16, right? Yeah. And it would go up to 26. Well, or at least 20. Oh, well, somewhere 20, between 20 and 26. One yeah. position is posted and the other one that you're discussing is not. Yeah, right. 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 So We'd the Right, so the hiring for the one that's posted has to be based on the best candidate of the applicants there. And the one that's posted you, now, right, right. Would be, yeah. or you could reject them all, or you could reject the whole thing <clears throat> and with RRG as the external contract. So is it an either or? I mean, Pretty you much. could go out it to advertisement yeah. again. And if we increased it, as you said, to if it was benefited, if benefited the salary, but that would right, cost but that's, more out of the budget, we're going with just the, well, the person, whoever it would, would charge off the assessor's side to the assessors and the treasurer okay, collected okay, to the treasurer's okay, collected okay, side. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is it either hiring somebody or hiring the consultant? Or yes. Yes. yes, that's it. Yeah. We're going okay. to hire. You might still have hit. to hire, say, uh, Mayflower to do some of that at the end of the year yeah. tax rate setting, set, you know, the sales analysis and all that. If you don't okay. get someone who understands that, and even I have not, I mean, the advantage of, of working with somebody who has done that, like Dwayne and Mayflower. Is that he has an in with the DOI. He knows all the people. If he says something is what it is, they take it. If you, Joe Schlub on the street, says we've done this whole analysis, they want you to like justify everything. Right. So that's one of the big advantages. But we wouldn't be using Mayflower, well, right? If we went with our well, not if you got someone, a person to replace me, and then. Did RRG for the personal property just that portion, and then we would do uh, Mayflower for just the 
the tax rate setting procedure or RRG do everything. If we got RRG, they they, they would, would do everything, everything. except okay. we'll be on uh, hand to deal Have with we you. asked them for a proposal to do just art? I did I tried that when I we did when I emailed them, no, they did I, not they did not commit anything to the email. No. I said I would like to see the break you know break down so that because maybe they don't want to do that. They don't oh, like could it. be. Yeah. I know there are some towns that use RRG just for personal property. Okay, I just want to clarify is didn't weren't we worried that Dwayne wasn't going to do Waitley? He and will do he will do that August up until we get approved by the DOR portion, which is the sales analysis, basically. Okay. He will do it for $3,500. Okay. And that's several days of him or somebody that works at Mayflower coming in and, and running all those all those uh, reports. I mean, he does quite a lot. Okay, so we so we have options either way the applicant we sort situation of have, goes. Yeah, three or four different good. options. That's good. But we got to remember the position is still open. I mean, the ad is still out there, so I guess we still could get people interested. It's not like it's closed and this is it. Well, she's leaving, so we're coming down to this. <laughs> I, I, I know, but there's, there's good, there, there could be somebody else still applying. <laughs> She's counting down the hours now, not just the days. No, no, no. I know, but it's like it's not. It's not. Uh, you know, maybe the person hasn't been born yet, and we'll just right. Right. Was there a deadline on the applications, or no? No, no okay. I don't think it was. was. What's in the twelfth? We would after the twelfth or something. All right. I was ahead. Review of candidates will begin on March twelfth. Okay. Position will remain open until so. So we'll wait on the interview if they're out there. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess I, I still, what concerns me the most is the us doing the inspections. I, I guess we've got a, a process here that Cynthia has set up where she identifies the, the properties to look at and sends out postcards and, and contacts people and they respond back to whether they're, they're available or not. Prints out the cards, gets us all ready to do inspections to go out. I, I, I guess they could do that, could sell them do that, but that's taking a lot of their time. They're not going to do that. They're, they're not going to do, do that. So, so then who's going to do? Who's going to do that? Who's going to mail out the inspection? The uh, if we continue this way with the postcards, there's people to let them know. And if they're not available, who, who are they going to call? If nobody's sitting here, somebody in in Worcester to tell them. I'm not available Tuesday night. Well, they just uh, leave a message on the Instagram, which they I, do with Cynthia. I, I, I guess, it, but if we were to continue, I don't think. I think yeah. that's a real. That is a real. I mean, we have always done real inspections, right. and when people don't get the postcard, which is I would, which is quite like often, more and more, and more now that the postal yeah. service gets worse and worse. Uh, even when I hand deliver them to the correct post office, yeah, yeah, and say please do not send it off to Springfield. Um, half the time, when people don't get the postcard, they're not happy to let us in. Right. Well, we can get a few more answers from this RRG on yeah um, what their ins their inspections entail, and you know because they there's do. other communities that. Do nothing but well, drive by. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just we're no, nobody has been to our you know, my house in yeah. years and years. Yeah. In fact, the last person to be there was Dave Bridges. And I'm not sure he came in. That might have just been a in the driveway kind of thing. The um uh, we can ask them about how they conduct the inspections, and then they we can also ask them if it's possible that we still continue to do our Bolton. I guess still does their own inspections, yeah, and just submits the data. Well, who's to, going to get all those notifications? I don't. Them? Yeah, that's the I mean, question. I mean, they they have to done two weeks in advance. This person um, would do like select uh, assessors meetings and do the minutes and that yeah. kind of stuff. So I would think that that would be part of the job. But, but if you're you don't that. have that person, if you 
contract with this consultant. So it would have to be another. They will do that. That's what they were telling us. They Well, they'll do minutes and things, the regular every day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, That's so, part of the soup. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if we're any closer. I guess right. well, I don't we have questions, questions now. Uh, that, yeah, but, thing, yeah. And we still have to interview. Interview. Get the interview, resume. Yeah. Interview those interview two people. Those two. Yeah, I think yeah. that's the next step. Yeah. Is to interview the two people. Yeah. Hopefully next week sometime. Yeah. And see what else they have to tell us if they haven't so far, and whether we're comfortable with either one or. Yeah, yeah. And then me and decide do we want to go with either one or with the consultant. Yeah. Uh, or find out more information on a consultant. But before we contact the consultant, I guess I'd like to do these interviews first. That makes that would make sense to me. Yeah. Uh, Did you get back to the her of the her and him uh choices uh about the afternoon? It was about the interview. No. I didn't no, I didn't hear from either one. I thought I, I thought I said that to you. Well, yes, you, you did to, to respond to me and, and you, but I didn't get any response. You got one response for what Wednesday morning, but right. I didn't I didn't get that one even. So all right. I will I will before I leave today, I'll just see if call the other one. Which which afternoon would be better for you, Tuesday or Wednesday? Tuesday, probably. Right. You guys are. I'm not. I'm well, not in on the interviews. The, and, the, the interviews I, I, I'm proposing would be Cynthia, myself, and, and I guess Lynn, if you wanted to, or somebody else, so we don't get into the open meeting while. Okay. Yeah, you'd have to add. You'd have to have a meeting, and then that seems crazy for an interview. Yeah. Well, you'd go. You can go into executive session, yeah. but you can only go into executive session if it's not a final interview. In final interviews, it has to be an open session. Whoa. So are you, so are you available next week if, 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 to be I'm one of the interviewees? Interview not with, available with on, well, I may have jury duty. <laughs> <laughs> Just to add to all my yeah. joyfulness, I, that's on Wednesday. So, and I, I'm normally not here on Mondays and Tuesdays. Right. Tr Trish is, so right. Trish could sit in. Okay. Sure. Or is there somebody else in the staff there that will? Um, Jessica, no, or not, probably not the ins and outs on that kind of yeah. stuff. But okay. um, we can, I can let Trish know and see if she'll sit in on a meeting, an interview. So. Well, we got we got one tentatively for Wednesday what morning. I believe it was yes. yes. So Wednesday morning. Are you available Wednesday? I no. have to read. I may know. <laughs> it's a no until Tuesday night. When yeah, I won't know when Can I do it? Because I'm not on the board. Would that anybody can do an interview? Well, I'm just not you don't want to. You can't have two members two of, the of the board. That's why I mean. So that, but I'm not part of the board. It, so. Right. So yeah, you can do it because you aren't a member of the board. All right. Well, I'm assuming you would be there for. Oh, you were already counting me. Yes. Oh, we're counting you. I didn't realize that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, next week is a little rough on me, my jury duty. Maybe well, then I have to call on Tuesday yeah. night to find out, so it won't help you in scheduling. So. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I can see a Trish. I mean, Trish would normally be here Monday, okay, Jen, Tuesday, and do... Wednesday morning. Wednesday. Morning. No, you can't. Oh, oh. See, that's the thing. You can't have two board members. Oh, without so I can't anyway. anyway. Oh, without what? calling <laughs> a meeting. And you need to what? Forty-eight hours. And we would need meetings. to do that right now in order to have that be timely. Yeah. Right. Oh my God. So, but in interview, you don't need the forty-eight hours. Oh. Oh. Okay. So. Because it's not really a meeting, it's a, it's a separate process. It's not a meeting of a board. So let me get back to the to the option of having the this person do assessing work and other work in the office. Is that is that a possibility or that's just too that's too remote to even think about? It's a possibility. I mean it hasn't been discussed with like the select board or well. 
I guess it would matter more with you guys and, yeah. and Amy, and Amy's on vacation this week, so mm -hmm. as treasurer collector. So um, I briefly talked to her about it, and she seemed to be on board. She just likes the idea of having an extra body yeah. um, in the office because, you know, sometimes you end up, you might be the only one there and you're split in multiple yeah, ways. You have so, to go potty or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So um, I think she likes the idea of having another person in the office, whether, I mean, those are two specialized fields. So whether you find anybody yeah. who would really want to tackle the learning of both of those is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's really how much the assessors are uh, these two interviewers, people that, yes, interviewees, interviewees that we have uh, know, and I can't imagine them knowing. They don't know anything of the procedure. Yes, that's yeah, it. I think Neither one of them are going to know anything of the procedure. And I've been thinking a lot about what I actually have been doing. And I thought, ah, oh, that's, yeah. And I thought about it's making a, lot a too list. Yes. yes. And I, it was even overwhelming to think about <laughs> making, making a list. A list. So yeah. should we even ask them if they were interested in more hours and more work? Or what are you going to do? Um, or, or is that just confusing? I think at this point in time, it confused things. I think yeah. I just, they're applying for this job for a reason. Yeah. 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 Um, if they ask, yeah. Okay. Maybe you could say maybe there's a possibility. After, after a probationary period or some hours, because 16 is, you know, pretty minimal, although. What's what's the limit? Yes, yeah, for... minimal for you, but you know everything. Well, these people are coming in and they don't. Know. They don't. So so that's what I'm thinking. They're going to need more than that. What, what's yeah. the minimum to still be unbenefited? Nineteen. 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 Anyone over nineteen is. Oh, okay. So you got to be twenty, 20 hours yeah. or more to be benefited. And is there a limit at the other end? Twenty. Uh, Twenty. Can you forty. Thirty or forty or. Forty. Or is there a limit? Okay. Well, because then you're into overtime. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But is that's a required to be benefited if you're more than 19? Yes. Is that, what if the person doesn't want insurance? Then benefit? fine. They're still a benefited employee. It's just they, they get, don't uh, they get, they get holidays as well. They can find yeah. all, they can all that. So they're not interested. Right. In I mean, they'll get sick and vacation time and, and holiday time. Plan. And they can get a pension plan. They actually, if they're over 20 hours, they go to Franklin Regional Council, uh, uh, Franklin Regional Retirement System, okay. rather than just in the pension plan. Okay, so it's not like, well, it's still going either way. I mean, it's not. Yeah, I mean, you don't know. And you can't yeah. judge on that because no, right. you don't know if they're going to take benefits right. or not. And just because they didn't take benefits this year doesn't mean they won't take them the next year. Right. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, we, Cynthia's position was always, well, up until the last couple of years, what was it, 19 hours you were putting in, right? No, I worked 20 until she retired the first time. <laughs> and I could only after that, yeah, the first time. No, actually, it went back, yeah, the very first time. Yeah. What did we decide it was, 2008? Eight. Yeah. Uh, at that point, I could only work, I think it was 18 and a half hours yeah. Yeah. as a ret active retiree. Right. So I have not gotten holiday hours, but I've continued all along to get, you know, vacation and sick. Yeah. And the town has paid a portion of my health insurance okay. and will continue to. Yeah. But, but right now you're only 16 and I, you know, that's what the, the ad said, I, I guess. Yeah. Well, I'm... It and sounds like sorry that that was put in that way because I think it should have been a benefited position. Right. Either way, even if you're if it's unbenefited to, to train somebody new in there, you're probably going to need more than 16 pounds. And who's going to train? Are you going to train? I'll train during April, but not after that. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, one well, day a week. I don't know. We'll see what the end is. That may be overwhelming. So one day a week. So for four days, you'll come in. 60 yeah. Yeah. And this person will be coming in four days. Those four days are an eight-hour day. Yeah. Well, plus whatever else yeah. they are setting themselves up for. But I, yeah. mean, I wouldn't want to. I mean, otherwise, there's no point in my retirement. <laughs> there's yeah. no end. Yeah. As far as life went, you see what happens. Yeah, I do. 
June, June 30th. Even for the interim? Really? Mm -hmm. Both Trish and I said do that. Do you have, uh, are there any candidates yet? There are, they've gotten several applications. Really? For what? Uh, so town administrator. Oh, good. Okay. They have it open until April 1st, and oh. they'll start doing interviews. Oh, okay. So so that's almost it. We're almost there. Yeah. But if we want, there's a lot more hours, and, and it's part of the treasurer thing. Who should who should we say they should talk to about that? Would it be Amy or you? Or I what? think first of all, I think Amy would have to approve that. You know, say yeah, that sounds good to her. And then because the select board is. Amy's supervisors, yeah. we'd have to get an approval from them as well. Okay, but they want more information, what it actually involves, what work and duties and all that. Oh, then Amy would, Amy be, would the, be the one yeah. to talk to. Yeah. Amy Schrader. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else is on our agenda today? Well, the rest is uh, has to do with uh the two houses that are going to be inspected next monday okay and you said you could do it until 225 or something right. and i don't know did you say you could do it i said i couldn't do it, you said, do it, couldn't do it. okay so the two of you are going to look at two houses right and i will give fred extra um field cards yes. so you have a field card for when you go and then the, the other, what? Are you all set with me? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We may need you to shut down. Okay. <laughs> I think I've got the shutdown, more or less. Yeah. And then the other whole thing is our friend. Over. Are we going into executive? Team? Well, I don't know because I didn't want to lose you. Oh. oh. Well, you we can stop the recording and then we can still do. If I stop the recording, can you still hear me if I stop the I recording? Think so. Yes, you should be able to, yeah. Well, let's do that. So we're going to stop the recording for. She still well, do you want to handle it? If you did, if you I would still like to have Jen still on. Yeah, you can be on. Okay, but we well, don't... then you got to stop the recording. Okay, do I, do we go into executive session? Sure, okay. So you're going to say that. Okay, we're going to, ending the, the meeting uh, of the of the assessors. Uh, yeah. Agree. Okay. Yeah. Agree. Okay. Meeting ended, and now we're going to executive session.